Hello, Michael Brown here. I've been playing with some of the new machine learning depth map tools on Hugging Face. I've been particularly impressed with Depth Pro, which is based on that research that Apple's recently released. Um, one of the things I've noticed, some of these depth map generators, instead of creating a grayscale depth map, they actually have a rainbow or spectrum palette to allow the user to more easily visualize the depth. So in this example, uh, blue is forward, uh, green are midtones, and then red is further back. And the deeper the blue, the closer it is, and the deeper the red, the further away it is. So it's just a different way of visualizing the depth. Now, you can't just take this color image and convert it to grayscale and have a depth map, and that's a problem. If you want to use these, I found a special technique to uh, convert them to grayscale. So let me close this. All right, so here was my source image. This was the depth map that was created. Photoshop actually has an optional filter plugin, HSB HSL. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. But I can take this file, come over here to Filter, Other, HSB HSL, and Release. And here it's going to take the input mode, red, green, blue, and change it to uh, HSB, which is Hue, Saturation, and brightness. So I click OK. Here's our layer palette. It's still labeled red, green, blue, but red is actually the hue, the green is the saturation, and the blue is the brightness. For our purposes, we don't need green and blue, so I'm just going to discard those. And what we're left with is the grayscale depth map. White forward, black behind. Now I have noticed sometimes when I make these depth maps, there are tiny little errors. There are these white pixels. I'll just zoom in on that. And so I have to get rid of those. So I'm going to uh, select that. And I have my selection tool so contiguous is turned off. So it's going to grab any of those super bright hot white pixels. And I'll go edit, fill, black. I'll deselect them and we'll zoom back out. Okay, and all those annoying white pixels are gone. So we can actually take this and go image. It's a multi-channel image now, but we want to turn it back to grayscale. And of course, if you want, you could go image mode and after grayscale, bring it back to RGB. So if I take our original here and go to canvas, and we'll double up the width of that canvas to 200%. And I'm going to take this grayscale depth map. I'm just going to pop it over in here and we'll slide it over to the right like so. And I'll flatten that. And now we're going to save this off. We'll put it on the desktop so I can find it easily. And we'll call that 4SPM. And I'm going to save that as a TIFF so there's no compression with that. Hit save. OK. Now we want to launch Stereo Photo Maker, so let's hide Photoshop. All right, so Stereo Photo Maker, I'm going to go File. Actually, the See if I can maximize that. File, open stereo window, go to the desktop, find our file, 4SPM. That's a folder. We want the file. Here we go. All right, now we'll come over here to edit, depth map. Create 3D image from a 2D image and depth map. Now you'll notice this is one I'm going to use, but the one underneath it is create multiple images from 2D and depth map. So if you want to create a series of frames for lenticular, you could use that option there. But for our purpose right now, I'm going to make the 2D image. I have to select this box white in front because the white or light tones are the forward elements. I'll hit OK. Now we'll put this in anaglyph mode. That is looking really nice, a nice 3D. The only thing I want to do is I'd like to crop that. Let's see here. Free cropping, 4x5, I like that. 
I'm going to come in here, crop it like so, and then I want to go to do the easy adjustment. Now, when you're making a lenticular, it's nice to have things come off the screen, negative parallax, and go back for a stereo pair, something you want to view with glasses like this or in a headset. I like to set the stereo window so there are no window violations, something touching the window. So I'm just going to take this little slider and bring it back. And that looks just perfect. So there you go. Here's how you can uh, use Apple Depth Pro, make a depth map for an image. You can then take the rainbow color spectrum image, convert it to a grayscale depth map, put the image and the depth map in Stereo Photo Maker, make either a stereo pair or make a frame series for lenticular. Hope this quick tutorial helps you out. Bye.